far as I'm concerned, that's the season over for Manchester United. One all draw there with Chelsea. Technically, we could still be in the top four race, but we had to get three points today against Chelsea for me to really genuinely be in with a chance of a top four spot. Because Spurs lost this weekend, Arsenal got pumped by Leicester. This was another opportunity that somehow United could still be in the top four race and we ballsed it up. Now in that first half, up until that David De Gea moment, which we'll talk about in a second, United played their best 40 minutes of football in some time. The midfield three of Herrera, Matic and Popper back together again seemed to work. Rashford and Lukaku playing as split strikers, it seemed to work. In possession and out of possession, we were very good for those opening 40 minutes and we absolutely deserved that 1-0 lead when one matter scored. But all that good work came undone when David De Gea spilled the ball, Marcus Alonso jumped onto it, he made it 1-0 and in that second half, Chelsea were the far better team. In and out of possession, every time the ball went to Hazard, him up against Young, I'm thinking, oh shit, what's going on here? We held on, but we held on for a draw which as I said, effectively ends our season. I don't think now, if we get in, we're going to sneak it somehow through the back door. And I think the opportunity's gone there with those two drop points, which unfortunately came because of another David De Gea mistake. I think it's at this point where Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has the responsibility as a manager to take De Gea out of the spotlight. Put Romero in for the last two games, take De Gea away from the team, take De Gea away from the pressure because his head is not in the right place. Clearly, anything that's going on behind the scenes with a contract, De Gea's not right at the moment. Any United fan can see it. But any United fan will still stand and support De Gea because, cool, De Gea and his mistake there may technically have cost us a top four finish, but De Gea and those same two hands earned us a top four finish for the last four or five consecutive seasons. So any claims to say, ah, sell him, get rid of him, shut up. He is still one of the best goalkeepers in the world and United should be paying him the money because it's our fault for giving Sanchez too much money that's caused this situation. But De Gea, he's so out of form now, just take him away from the spotlight. Let him get his head straight. Let him think about whether he's staying at the club or not because ultimately it's down to him whether he wants to see the contract out and force a move or sign a new deal. But he's certainly not capable right now, I don't think, of playing in goal for Manchester United. There's too much going on. So Solskjaer, take him out of the team. But unfortunately, it's too little too late, really. That was... United's last chance. I mean, the chance to finish in the top four should have gone after we lost to City. But luckily, Arsenal were just as bad as us and they got beaten 3-0 by Leicester. And given that we were playing Chelsea this week, we would have gone level on points with them there. In that first half, man, we played much the better football. So much better than we've seen in recent weeks. Christ, we've had Everton, Barcelona and City before this game, so it couldn't really have got much worse. But United's real inability there in that second half came to the fore. The absolute, utter lack of quality in that final third came to the fore in that last 10 minutes. We didn't really know what we were doing. And Chelsea, who really needed a draw, looked the more threatening in the last 10 to 15 minutes. Then United, Lukaku getting caught offside somehow more than Higuain. Just United's utter lack of real quality in that final third killed us just as much as David De Gea's mistake did. De Gea's mistake led to a goal. That's the unfortunate reality for goalkeepers. When they fuck up, it's a goal. When a midfielder or an attacker balls is up, it's just a chance gone. So the spotlight on a goalkeeper is so much more intense than any other position. That's why De Gea will get so much criticism after that, and fairly. That was, a, that was a save that he would have easily made previously. But just as much as that was a problem, United's lack of quality going forward was a big issue. As was our lack of quality in defence. Jesus, I hope Eric Bailly is OK because that injury did look quite bad on his knee. It looked like he locked his knee into a different position. But Marcus fucking Rojo, man. The guy is an absolute animal. He should be in the MMA, not playing for United. Just, he's an absolute wreckhead should be one of the first names out of the door this summer. And there was a stat that came on halfway through that game. United have only kept two clean sheets at home this season. That's less than Huddersfield, who are 
bottom of the league with 14 points and have got relegated. If you're looking at United's major problem, that's where it is. Our defence needs completely reworked. David De Gea, he needs to get his head straight. Our midfield, there's things that can be strengthened there. And there's certainly things that can be strengthened up front with Rashford out of form, Lukaku being Lukaku, and Sanchez being an utter gash footballer at this club. But for me, as I said there, season is done now. We've got a couple of games left, but I'm going to be so surprised if United somehow sneak into the top four being from this position. We've messed up here today. We dropped two points against Chelsea. David De Gea certainly at fault for that equaliser. But all of United's players in that second half were at fault for a massively muted performance. Chelsea certainly improved in their defence, but United in the same vein went the opposite direction. We lost that tempo that we had in the first half, made it easy for Chelsea in defence. And now top four is done. Europa League again next year. They have some nice away trips, maybe to Norway. But you're, we're, we're not going to play Champions League football. It's now it's going to change probably what happens in the summer. I still think United are good enough to get the players. But this has to be a summer where United sign players who want to play for the club for the right reasons, not simply for more money. Which is what we've had to do when we've been in the Europa League recently, is pay more for players because we don't have Champions League football to offer them. So it complicates this summer. But United are at fault there. We dropped two points against Chelsea. And we're out of the top four as far as I'm concerned. But let me know who your man of the match was. Let me know your thoughts on David De Gea. Should he stay in the team or should Romero come in for the last couple of games? But for me, season done.